Time now to imagine it at 945 with the chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson. We don't have goggles today, but you've got something lined up here, oh, a special this, table. This is going to be cool. This is something you can do at home at a friend's house, at a dinner party. It's going <laughs> to oh, make boy. you look amazing. Sure. Okay? All right. And so it's, it's the pull the tablecloth from underneath the glassware deal. Right. Okay? But let's talk about the physics behind it first, okay. so you get a little background here. Um, if I pull the tablecloth really slowly, there's sort of static friction between the tablecloth and the plate, and the plate will accelerate. It'll move. Okay. okay? We don't want that. Right? You could think then, well, let's pull a little bit faster. And if you do pull a little bit faster, the plate will sort of slide over the tablecloth yeah. because there's still friction there. The deal is we can't get rid of the friction. Hmm. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to deal with making the force that acts on this act for a very, very short time. So you minimize the friction. Minimize the amount of force acting on it. You're going to minimize the amount that's going to move. Plate's always going to move. Okay. But we want to minimize how much it moves. And so to do that, Tony, what I'm going to have you do is you're going to pick up the edge of the tablecloth. Oh do boy. it with an overhand grip. Overhand grip. All right. See, a couple tips This is here. crucial. And you're also going to pull straight down. Oh, all right. Okay. So you might want to back your grip up yeah, a little bit. So. Pull straight down as fast as you can, and you know you don't want any wrinkles in there. You want nice, <laughs> nice presentation there. Right. Pull straight down as fast as you can, blindingly this, this fast. This isn't an expensive plate or anything. No, right? that's that's from Goodwill. Oh, okay. All right. Three, so, two. All right. The plate is no, still standing. That was excellent. <laughs> that was excellent. Now we're gonna take it up another level here. All right. Okay. So go ahead and put your tablecloth down. Now you might also notice that this is not the finest of tablecloths, right? This is just a piece of cloth that I've cut the hem off of. Sure. If you have a tablecloth that has a hem and you pull like you just did, that speed bump is going to come oh, screaming yeah. across the table. It's going to launch everything up in the <laughs> Good air. Good tip. So don't use an actual tablecloth. Or Not the lace ones. No, 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 no. You That'll mess plain it up. old cloth is nice. And um, so you did pretty good with one plate. So, you know, we could amp it up with some other stuff, right? Okay. You feeling confident? Not really, but, you well, know. Well, okay, okay. I mean, well, you could do that. I okay. Mean, if, if you're comfortable sure, with that. Sure, I can. What, do you, you want oh, me to? Well, no, I mean, I could make it more exciting. All right, let's I do it. Let's do it. I mean, if you want. Why not? We could. <laughs> I mean. Oh, man. It's the Tower of Babel. <laughs> right. All right. Now, now remember, <laughs> the, the key here is that it, it, the mass of the objects doesn't really matter. Sure. So actually stacking them on top of another is reducing the surface area the force is acting on. It's actually to your benefit. I hope the force is with me. <laughs> okay, now remember, <laughs> the key here, you're going to pull straight down near the edge of the table. <laughs> that will keep your tablecloth uh, flat. Uh -huh. So, in fact, go ahead and this is a little Grab practical it all the way tip. at the end. Yeah. Grab it out further. Okay. And lower your hands down a little sure, bit. Sure. Sure. Because we so want to walk into a friend's house, successful. stack their china. Use, using their china <laughs> is better than using yours. All right. Sorry. And so, ready? Right. Three, Three two, two, one. Straight down. <laughs> Boom. Look at that. <laughs> is that not nice? Wow. So, some basic physics. You know, no hem. Uh, Stack the stuff up if you want. You can even add a little bit of water. I didn't bring the water today. I wasn't quite sure how you'd perform. Hey, so, but that, hey, was, that was excellent. I, I, nice. I do say so myself. And you have one here too. Why don't you give I, us I a little do. show? I could. Um, Carl Nelson. I've never, done it, with, I've never done it with two plates here. I don't know. Let's see. All right. So three, two, one. Oh, hey, I've topped you, the scientist. You, you actually did much better. <laughs> nice, nice work. Excellent. Well, hey, right. if you want to <laughs> see Carl and all of his technical wizardry, you can make yourself down to the imagine, make yourself uh, head down to the Imagination Station. The hours are on your screen there, and it is open tomorrow from noon to five today, open as well from 10 to five. Is there anything uh, special happening? Right we now? still have Sesame Street, the body. Uh, so come down, check that out. And of course, today is Saturday, so Lucas County residents 12 and under get in free. Excellent. All right, Carl, always a pleasure. And uh, you can always take these ideas with you, hit the road, and, <laughs> and maybe you won't be invited back over to your friend's house again. But <laughs> thanks again. We'll have you back next week. Thank you. Thank <laughs> that was Imagine It. Now we're turning it over to Dave in sports.